Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Banish Private here and this is the second part of the leaked photos and screenshots of new paints. Thanks everyone for the very positive feedback from the first part, there was lots of likes, comments, uh, warm and uh, positive uh, feedback coming from all of you, really appreciate that. And uh, now let's move on, let's move on because today we're gonna be looking at the 5th rates and 4th rates mostly. So the ships used by most of the players in this game. First of all, we've got Renomi, this is how it looks normally in the game, and to be honest, that's a decent paint for a ship, it's looking pretty okay, and well, Renomi is not getting any new paints, but we've got right now two of them, the old, to steal two old paints for the ship, but the ship's not very popular, so I don't think many people really care. Um, this is the first paint for the Renomi, it is Brest Harbour and we can assume that's a French paint because Brest is a French port, it used to be the main naval base for the French nation back in the day. And the second paint for the Renomi is Barra, it's called Barra and I don't know how that translates but to be honest looking at that paint I would risk saying that the default paint of the Renomi looks better than this custom paint. I will leave this opinion guys to you, but I don't know, there is really nothing special about this paint. What we are looking right now at is of course HMS Surprise, or as the French would refer to it, Unité. And well, as the ship had its ups and downs, it always had a spot somewhere in our action. So it's actually pretty weird that we haven't gotten any paints for for all of these years for this ship it's like one of the most used ships in naval action and this is how it looks uh, as a default uh, skin in the game and i'm happy to announce that there are some of the paints work in progress for this ship and we're gonna take a look at them right now so this is how the ship looks as default right now this is the preview of the uh, default skin of the ship and what we've got here is called dark brown so you can see that brown color with these uh, red stripes on it and it looks very interesting reminds me of course of the press harbor and rouge noir paints because it's very similar with the color choice and look of it next paint on the target is black and white which probably refers to the classic white paint in the game that used to be called black checker in past so literally so many ways to refer to one paint but here we here we've got it it's uh pretty much looking like a black and white the, the classic white painted bellona to be honest if you look at the just at the hull of it so i wonder as we got so used to seeing the white bellonas I wonder how many people will actually confuse that paint with a white bologna. And the next one is Black Master. That's kind of a mysterious name for paint, which looks similar to Pinstripe. And uh, I would suspect that could be the Pinstripe paint, uh, but in the game files it's called Black Master. And the final pain for the surprise is <laughs> the so much beloved Pink Royale. And you can admire this sexy surprise with the pink paint on it. Sadly, just a tiny pink stripe in the center, like the bottom and top are not also pink. Like it's not entirely pink paint. It's kind of sad. I would love to see like an like a entire pink surprise. <laughs> Let's move to the next one. And the next ship we'll be looking at is HMS Trincomalee, built in India for the Royal Navy. So this is the default view of the ship. This is pretty much like almost like a classic white paint because it has the blackened uh, white color over here. So you can see how it looks pretty decent skin, default skin for the ship. And what we've got here is the preview of the so-called in the game files blue pastel paint and right now with the trink we'll be deciphering lots of code names of the paints into the real game names so what really blue pastel is of course it is a swiss guard paint that we've got right now in the game for a trink and here is the picture of it you can take a look at it pretty sure the picture was taken by Sveno and you know right next to him He's got another painted uh, trink that we're gonna be looking later uh, at, the, the Sangre one. The next preview is 
right now called Black Master. So deciphering Black Master, what it really is, it is Rouge Noir, the black and red paint that you can right now look the pictures of, taken by me and by some other user. It's a pretty good paint for the Trincomoly, I really like that one, with the red text on the stern and it's really a, was a very popular and beloved paint by, by other players. So we've got another code name of the paint deciphered. Time to get one more done. So this preview is dark brown and as you might guess. Everything else I refer to as dark brown applies to the paint in the game called Breast Harbor. And here it is. You've got the picture of a Breast Harbor trincomaly. So that explains a lot of things now. No, that's not that's not all. That's still not all. So this one in the game files has a code name of bloody. So what it is really? As you might guess, this is a sangre paint. And sangre from the Spanish means blood. So that explains the, the code name bloody in the game files. And that's the, how it looks like. You can see a nice uh, photo of the bloody <laughs> sangre painted uh, trincomoli. So there's still one more to decipher. Nah, that that's everyone knows that. It's a pink royal, of course. Preview of the pink royal paint scan. And here's the screenshot of the beautiful pink trincomoli. <laughs> And the last one is uh, without any preview. We've got a uh, scarred paint and it's pretty much self-explanatory because you can see like all of the paints and colors in the ship are faded and you know it looks like it's after many combats. Some people refer to like a pirate paint also. So that's a pretty awesome and dope looking ship paint. So that's all of the paints for Trincomoli. Well, We've got already a huge variety of the paints for the drink, so I'm not surprised that developers are not really adding more of them because we've got more than enough at the moment and some other ships would really could use some love. The next patient we'll be looking at is not so very popular ship, rarely, very, very rarely used because it's outperformed by other fifth rates. But here we are with the frigate, the very generic basic frigate and this is how it looks in the game of course. And we can look also at the default preview of the frigate's paint and it's gonna get a few paints, starting with some basic paints like uh, Sweet Dreams, here we are. Well, it's not a huge difference from the main one, but it does make it more dark, changes some colors, so might be more interesting to look at it. The next one is uh, going to be pretty cool looking, will make it look more American, I would say, as the black and white paint, the the classic white, however the devs wanna call it now, it used to be called black checker, black and white, classic whites all the time, changing names, but it's still the same paint, it's uh, black and white basically. This is looking pretty solid, I would say, it gets really similar to Trincomaly and Essex at this point. The next one is Frigate Navy, this is the Frigate Navy look, and on the other hand the Frigate Navy looks really really similar to the Frigate Breast Harbor which we can look at it right now. So the Breast Harbor is just much more darker than the Navy, but these paints look almost the same, it's just that these light lines on the Frigate Navy are just getting darker in the Frigate Breast Harbor paint. And the last one is sort of like unknown, it doesn't have a name really. I think it's just a legacy old look of the frigate because this one didn't have a have a name and it doesn't really look like some sort of a paint that we'll be getting for a frigate. It just it's just in the game files, so I don't know if it's old legacy thing or maybe it's gonna be something new. It doesn't really look like any sort of the paints we've seen so far. So I just think it's just one of the old looks of the frigate. Might be I might be wrong here, but we'll see. Since we're done with the frigate, it would be logical to move on to the pirate frigate. Something I guess much more interesting, and the ship is more a valid option than the normal frigate. So this is a normal view of the frigate, and it, to be honest, the default skin of the frigate, the default paint, already looks pretty good. I always liked it, sort of like I don't know, people call it sort of a green or blue or whatever the the special name of for that color is with the white line in the center and this is basically how it looks in the 
the preview of this paint and we are getting one one but very very good paint for this ship which to be honest has been the game files and in the game itself for a very very long time you can see the pirate frigate outlaw paint which makes it entirely dark black like super super dark and the best thing is that there's one ship in the game that has it, this paint equipped and this is the ship basically owned by Dron441, the Russian player from the Rubli clan and uh, we, we even have the screenshot of his ship so now you can take a look at how the ship looks in the game so the most interesting part about this paint is that it also makes your sails black or at least dark color not white so this is really interesting because it's just not the ship itself not the hull but also the sails that change the color and it looks pretty sick that's looks like i feel like everyone would try to get this paint because that's like one of the best looking paints in the game if anyone's interested how did tron get this paint then there's basically a story that goes back like a year back i would say where there was a challenge of two players or maybe one player in a small frigate that was supposed to fight a first rate and basically whoever would win the engagement would get the paint and from what i remember Ron won against uh reverse not mistaken i don't remember exactly but that was some sort of a challenge where one of the players would get rewarded with the with the paint and this ship the next ship we'll be looking at is also not so much seen around because it's not as good as its uh, counterparts it's the cerberus which sadly has much stronger counterparts as like you know a surprise or know me and hercules that are also able to sail in the shallows and they totally outperform cerberus so we don't see it as often as we probably wish we could see this a value option in the combat so here it is how it looks in the game normally here's the paint preview of the cerberus and here we start with the first paint for it which is sweet dreams which does not really change so much in the look of the ship it adds some minor blue lines uh, changes a little bit the uh, the color of the main wood frame but that's it pretty much the next one is the and of course here are also some some of the screenshots are from the game how the paint looks like because these paints are not really new they've been in the game uh, for a pretty long time like we've seen service paints for a very very long time in the game this is, this is nothing new not not a new addition the next one is Cerberus French this is also pretty basic paint uh, there's nothing really outstanding in it also added at some some blue lines uh, makes the hull more light i would say in this uh, case mm, you can see also the the red uh touch on the stern and the next one is here is a here's a very interesting fact cerberus carota which used to be the original look of the cerberus so Cerberus Carota is how Cerberus used to look like when it was first introduced into novel action and then it was turned into paint so some of the people might be confused with that but you know it's mostly just the veterans that remember um, Cerberus as this sort of a ship you can see it's almost entirely red and here it is how it looks in the game so that's not all for the Cerberus we still have one more to go and it is Cerberus Navy. And I'm pretty sure it's like the best paint for a Cerberus, like the best looking. Just just my humble opinion, but in my opinion, Cerberus Navy is the best paint for the Cerberus. That's it for the Cerberus, time to move on on the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure I don't have to introduce this ship because it's a legendary ship that all of you have dreamed of or at least seen once or wished you would have one of them. It's the Santa Cecilia and this is the daffled, really crazy looking paint. The daffled one is so good that I don't think that anything else can beat it and we're kind of getting two more paints for Santa Cecilia can they be better than the main original one well that's a solid question this is how the preview of the paint looks like and now we can compare to the 
first one, which is basically Santa Cecilia Unite, which kind of, I don't know, that, that doesn't really make it look better. And the next one is Santa Cecilia Rue. This one looks kind of acceptable, I would say, but I don't know. In my opinion, you know, changing the, the original paint on Santa Cecilia is like ruining the ship. So I would have to put such players on the blacklist and hunt them down. <laughs> now let's take a quick look at the Essex and we're gonna go, you know, really quick through these uh, pictures because there's just addition of one new paint and most of the others are just old paint. So it's not much really to talk about them. So here's how Essex looks like in the game. Here's the preview of its uh, uh, paint. The default one and the first one we've got the SX Sangre, the bloody version paint and this is how it looks in the game. It looks pretty okay in my opinion. Uh, the next one is Brass Harmour, one of the most favorite paints in the game currently. This is how it looks in the game. First one is a bit of bad lightning uh, screenshot, the next one is in a much better light. The next one is uh, Rouge Noir, that does not like, look much different than Breast Harbor, but Breast Harbor is probably the better option. Here are the three decent screenshots from different angles how it looks like. And the next one is Essex Sicily. It's a solid paint, pretty okay for Essex. Um, Sadly so there's no screenshot how it looks like in the game, but you can probably imagine. And the next one is Essex Pink Royal. Sadly there's also no screenshot for this one, the screenshots have expired on the hosting page, so I can't show you any of them. And the addition of the new paint for the SX, the only new paint that you will see is SX Unite. This kind of looks like a more sought version of the Sangre, SX Sangre. So kind of like combining something between Pink Royal and Sangre, I would say. Just my opinion. It doesn't really add anything crazy, but I love to see how it looks in the game. In the actual game it might you know create a different impression on us and you know just a raw picture of the you know look of it in the game files might not really represent how it's gonna look in the game with the light weather you know and shadows and all of these factors so keep in mind maybe it's not looking astonishing on this preview maybe it will be look, looking much better in the game itself so after all of these paints and all of these ships, we're moving now on to the entirely uncharted waters. This is the La Hermione. Everyone recognizes this ship, right? The French fruit, and it's about to receive most likely a bunch of new crazy paints that are like not typical and not ever seen before compared to the paints I've presented so far. So let's get started the first one is of course the preview of the default skin the default paint of the la hermione and i'm happy to say that these actually previews are gonna be in twice as high resolution so it's gonna to be you know, much easier to see the details of them unlike the the other previews the first one to begin with is the la hermione english beach style and it looks r really interesting there's some like light brown, I mean light brown color with some dark green on the stern and like dark green bars. It's really, you know, hard to describe this paint because it has so many different colors combined together. Of course with the French logo on the stern that's like blue. It's really kind of look intrusive that French logo there. I'm not sure exactly how to decipher the name English Beach style because I don't think that's how the paint will be called in the game actually, but I guess we'll see. The next one has also kind of a suspicious weird name. It's La Hermione Swedish Squadron. And like you can see that it's like, it looks more like a black and white, like, you know, classic white, that sort of paint. But for some reason, it is called Swedish Squadron. And like, there is not really an addition of the blue colors in here. So it is kind of confusing. Okay, the next one we have to look at is La Hermione Yellow Classic. And this is pretty common, you know, common paint like that you see on most of the ships. So it's pretty much how would La Hermione look like if it had the most popular paint used for most of the ships during Age of Sail. And um, the following paint is going to be La Hermione 
English multicolor style. And this is basically, you know, like, not a huge difference from the previous one, it's just that this turn becomes blue from my perspective, and the, you know, the, the, the main whole uh, theme is a little bit lighter, with, with more power, I would say, in its color. The next one paint is La Hermione La Concorde, and it's also not a huge difference from the yellow classic, you know, with the, also with the addition of lighter uh, accent of the main hull and some other you know, stripes and lines in different various colors. La Concorde is basically the Queen, Queen's Anne's Revenge ship, so this is basically supposed to mimic how the ship was looking, I guess. Um, the next one comes with uh, also a pretty weird name. It's the La Hermione Robin Hood style. <laughs> I guess everyone understands where the name comes from. It's uh, pretty similar to the first one we've been looking at. And it really mixes lots of different colors. I really wonder how it's gonna look in the game itself. Because kind of looks, it looks very interesting, I have to admit that. Robin Hood style. <laughs> I wonder how the devs are gonna call it in the game. So the next paint is La Hermione Endymion. Endymion, so basically the ship just mimics the default uh, skin of the Endymion. Nothing unusual here, looks okay, I guess. Uh, the next one is La Hermione Essex. And this is kind of like, I would say, edited version of the, of the Swedish Squadron, the one that was called Swedish Squadron. But it's not the same, it has different accents, different uh, details. So yeah, basically this one, you know, as the name explains itself, is self-explanatory. It just mimics the way the Essex looks like. The following paint is La Hermione Mustang. Not really sure where the name comes from, what's the origins of the name. Maybe it's uh, based on the car for the Mustang sort of typical view and paint colors used for the car i don't know i don't it's hard to really guess what sits inside the admins and developers mind <laughs> but my first guess would be you not know, the car the next one is with really really mysterious name la hermione hyperborean style i have like i'm like i have no i I don't know where to start with, like, the name is just a riddle. <laughs> if you guys have any ideas how to decipher Hyperborean style, go ahead, write in comments. <laughs> and that's still not all, we still have one more, one more, probably the best, the best of them all, paint for the La Hermione. It is La Hermione Santa Cecilia, and here we are. This is basically like, you could implant this, implement this paint for every ship in naval action. And it would look awesome. It would look literally awesome on every ship in the game. So that's all from the La Hermione. And then we can move to the best part that's still waiting for us. The final part, the final ship. Finally, finally comes the final ship. With tons of new paints. And this is of course Endymion. This is how it looks in the game. And let's check straight, you know, the preview of it, the preview of its paint. Endymion gets tons of new paints. So far we had only one paint of Endymion in the game. This is the preview of the paint with the code name Nordic. And it pretty much matches the classic white paint from the game. So I would, you know, safely assume that Nordic from the game files is just classic white. So this is what we've got in the game. And let's begin with the new paints that haven't seen novel action yet for the Endymion. It's really exciting to be honest, because there's lots of interesting ones of them. The first one is Breast Harbor. Endymion Breast Harbor. I just can't, you know, wait to see that in the game. I really, I'm really sure lots of people are gonna love that. The next one is Endymion Classic Yellow. Looks, uh, I say, pretty interesting. <laughs> Not really my cup of tea, but I bet lots of people really like Endymion with that sort of skin. Um, and there is also a second version of this paint called Yellow Classic Yellow 2. A slightly, a slightly modified version of the first one. And the next one is Endymion Lemon Steel Frame. 
that's the code name of it. The following one is Endymion English Multicolor. The very, you know, pretty much very similar version of what we've seen of the La Hermione. Multi English Multicolor one. So also the, the Blue Storm. The following one is Endymion Mustang. So we see that, you know, these come really, you know, similar, you know, new style of paints, like for La Hermione, Hercules and, and Tri Queen. So that's gonna be really interesting other than, you know, the the ones that we uh, have nowadays for most of the ships. The next one is Endymion Montan. It's probably, you know, referring to the Leotion, uh, because it was it was renamed the French first rate, basically. Or maybe not. I don't know really. Like Montan probably refers to to more than just one ship. And doesn't really look like the ocean. I'm a little bit confused here. So if anyone has an idea, maybe it refers to another ship. Let me know in the comments. I'm happy, really happy to to figure out. Maybe it's not French or but some sort of a Spanish fried ray maybe? I don't know. So if anyone has an idea please feel free to share. Um, the next one is Endymion Smart, and that one looks very interesting, in my opinion. Really worth attention. Uh, following up with uh, Endymion Milk Chocolate. Not so far from classic white, but it's a different topic, I would say. A more dark topic. There's a there's more dark tune colors. Uh, kind of blends in nicely, I would say. Following up with the, of course, the best paint in the game, Endymion Santa Cecilia. <laughs> it's like combining such a great ship with such a great paint. What possibly could be better than this? The next one is Endymion Green Elf. And we can see that lots of paints around Endymion really, you know, are based on the, on the white and sort of gray uh, color types. So that's really interesting. This, you know, this style really fits Endymion, to be honest. The next one is Endymion Wood and Steel. Not really sure what the name refers to. You can have, you can see how it looks like. And the final one is called Endymion Green Clay. It's also pretty much based on the white, gray, and a little bit of a, I would say, blue green color team it's you know it's it's really great because there's a huge variety even if the paints don't differ from each other so much the more variety the better for the game so that's all it's it's it was really really long long list of uh paints images and i had to put really lots of hard work into that uh there's Apparently a DLC coming soon, which is called Painter DLC. So we'll see if we'll, you know, we'll figure out if these paints are coming that DLC or not. Um, I'm pretty sure they will come because if the devs want to release a DLC, it, sh it should be something big. So I'm, I'm really expecting most of the paints that they've presented to to really come into that DLC and be included in it. Um, I also did not cover the ships of the line, fourth rates, uh, third rates, second rates, and first rates. And there, there's also some, you know, some new things, some new paints and stuff. So we'll see if there's a point for me to cover it in the future, unless we get all of that into the DLC. Um, let me know in the comments, guys. And thanks for watching. Out. I'm really happy, you know that the first edition of this video series with the leaked paints received uh, tons of positive feedback. So far, last time I checked, there was like around 40 likes, almost 1000 views. So these are really good results and I'll really appreciate guys. If you enjoyed watching that video, make sure to like, share, comment and once again, thanks for watching and till the next time. Take care.